is a billfish. Well, technically it's a marlin, but the term billfish describes a variety of species including marlin, sailfish, and swordfish. They are big, they are powerful, and we want to make clothing that looks like them. But before we can do any of that, we need a photo. And not just any photo. We need a close-up, high-resolution image that captures a billfish's detailed patterns and colors. And to do that, we need to go where the fish are. Casa Vieja Lodge in Guatemala is arguably the billfish capital of the world. And with the help of their expert team, we're hoping to get the photo that we need. We don't know much about sport fishing, but delicious tropical drinks and appetizers by the pool sure ain't bad. We could get used to this. After some much needed caffeination, we headed to the marina to meet up with the crew. We'd be joining a team from the Billfish Foundation, a nonprofit dedicated to preserving billfish populations around the world. The Billfish Foundation is a strong supporter of tag and release fishing, allowing anglers to provide the scientific community data that would otherwise be challenging to get. Once a fish is tagged, anglers can use the TBF app to input data like the fish species, its location, a length and weight estimate, the date it was tagged, and the captain of the boat. Tagging fish provides information that helps scientists and policymakers better understand and protect the species, and TBF is dedicated to teaching anglers how to do it right. So this is a Billfish Foundation tag. This is the orange streamer that has our uh, identification number on it. It's designed is to be pushed in so it fits in between two of the bones so that you end up seeing the streamer sticking out of the fish and all the pertinent information is out. That way if you recapture a fish that has a tag in it, all you have to do is pull it out, cut it, Keep this with the number on it and then re-tag the fish and then you can release it once again. When I'm trying to get a tag into a fish, what I really like to accomplish is I do not like trying to place a tag in a fish when it's still jumping around and it's very active. I wait till we get it alongside of the boat and the fish is more calm. Make sure we have the tag placement exactly where we want it. It's almost like a handshake. I line up the tag and slowly just extend my hand. Uh, with the tag pole and place the tag in the shoulder and that way we know that it's a good placement of the tag it's not in somewhere where it could be vital to the fish and the fish is in good health it doesn't do us any good to get any information if we end up hurting the fish with our tags ready it was time to put out the lines and try to get a photo <laughs> We managed to get some beautiful photos and tag dozens of fish. The crew at Casa Vieja Lodge knew exactly where to find the fish and we can't thank them enough for their help and hospitality. Back home, it was time to transfer our photos onto clothing. The process of getting the pattern and colors right can be pretty tricky. Dye sublimation is a lot of work, but it wastes less fabric and ink compared to other printing methods and it uses zero water. Less waste means less impact on the environment, and we use small samples to make adjustments until everything looks perfect. Once the fabric is printed, it's off to the sewing machine, and eventually, onto you. A walking, talking advocate for the ocean and the critters that live within it. <laughs>